Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, hello, we're uh, the Beefy Boys. I'm Murph, uh, this is Lee, and we're here today with uh, Rob and Noz from the infamous Noz Stop. How do you do? Hi. How's it going, guys? Hello. Infamous, yes. Infamous. Good to see you. Good to see you guys, good to see you. Just uh, me, nice me, you, me, yeah. yeah. Hi. Dad, nice cool. to meet you. Right, right. Uh, so today we're going to be cooking two Tom Hawk steaks and we're going to be doing a really nice uh, Caesar salad. You guys ever made a Caesar salad from no. scratch before? Okay, it'll be a good learning curve for you guys today then. Here we are, so we've got two tomahawks, tomahawks. there. Basically, ribeye with a bone. Basically, that's all it is. It's a ribeye with a long bone on the end. You like a long bone, <laughs> don't you, Lee? On the end. Mm. Yes, he does indeed. Right, so yeah, these are the ones we're going to be cooking. So first of all, we can look at prepping these. So I'll just chuck them on. Right, we'll get some gloves on the go, actually. So yeah, do you want to tell everybody a bit about who doesn't know? Just look a little bit about Nonstop Festival. Will you guys put these gloves on? Nonstop is a 7,000 capacity festival. Held in Bromyard every year. The mighty Bromyard. Mighty Bromyard. Been you? going for uh, 20... I got some. Been going for 20... <laughs> <laughs> Very hygienic, though, I've been going for 22 years. 11 stages, including comedy, theatre, uh, oh, wow. electronic. How did it start? What was the first one? Like this? Well, it was a a bit, pretty much the same as this, really. Was it? Yeah, we had well, a... less people, though. Was it? <laughs> we just had a normal family barbecue and, invi yeah. and invited... What, 35 people? He was a folk musician, wasn't it? Yeah. You and yeah, your yeah. friends had seen Will Colleen, didn't you? And Will Colleen, yeah. yeah we I mean, decided so. you want to book him. Yeah, so, so we, uh, we, had a, a pub. we had a barbecue, about 35 people, yeah. and, it, and this folk singer. The following year, everybody said, do it again. So uh, we, did, we did it again and invited about 100 people. Mm. Uh, there was like 200 people came, and then we did five in the end. Yeah. And over these five, by about the end of the fifth, it was starting to get known around Bromyard, uh, and I mean, we, I remember walking out the one night and expecting to see 200 people on our lawn, and there was like 500 people there. It was just ridiculous. Really? So the following year, we uh, we got ourselves insured. Yeah. It started to cost money to put on there. Yeah. And so it was 10 pound donation, but nobody paid. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we, then we started. Set, it was 10 pound then, like yeah. to get in, and we did about two or three. Yeah, just it grew naturally. And then it, then, it, you know. then it became licensed. I mean, we've probably only been licensed the year or two when you got involved, wasn't it? That's it. Yeah, we, yeah. we ended up playing, uh, like, what, 2000? Yeah, yeah, nominees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, for those, for those who don't know, before we uh, flipped burgers for a living, uh, me and Lee were in a band uh, called The Anomalies. Yeah, we did a gig. Yeah, it must have been quite early on, wasn't it? Was that, that was you played well, like that for a few years in a row, didn't you? Well, yeah. certainly, like you yeah, played a few did. times. Well, we did. Well, like the first uh, like sort of year we were a band, we, we got a gig somehow. Played. You, you played before the main stage was built, though, didn't you? When it was still just a garden yeah. stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. It was, I remember. Yeah, we, I remember. You didn't even have a table for us to put the stuff on, so we had an ironing board. Uh, that we were given, and we had, we, decks. yeah, yeah, we had, we had all the decks on an ironing board. That's a sort of tin pot. It didn't get much better year pot. from year. Actually, to, to we painted the legs black. Uh, well, yeah, no, yeah, no, that we still use that now for the main act. Yeah, it's Andy C plays on. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Well, let's get. We'll start chopping these uh, steaks up. So we're gonna just do a little bit of prep on here. So, uh, Rob, we'll get you to do this first. Yep. So one uh, good little tip sometimes with steaks is to make really, really sort of small little lines like that across, yeah. just little incisions. What it does it increases the uh, surface area of the steak and also gives the seasoning a little bit of something to hold he on can to. Penetrate it, I guess, yeah. yeah, yeah, and if you, you get these nice little sort of curly bits. You don't want to go too deep, yeah. uh, but it's just there to sort of yeah give salt something to it, so you give a bit more sort of crisp on, on the outside and that as well. So if you sort of start yep. cutting yep. that one up, so these ones are seasoned these uh, 24 hours ago. So you think if you're ever cooking a steak at home or whatever, uh, tips are either season it while you're cooking or if you've got time, season it the day before. So what you can do is whack a bit of salt on it, wrap it in cling film, and then what happens is the salt draws moisture out of the steak and then uh, the steak reabsorbs it back in and it sort of seasons the whole steak. So it'll be salty sort of the whole way really? through. Yeah, okay. so, both yeah. sides? Yeah, both sides, yeah. Who was the first big act you got then? I don't know which came first, whether it was John Power or Friction. Mm. Uh, was Friction the first big Fri DJ? Friction was the first um, mate, mate, big name DJ we had, yeah. Yeah. And so he was the last DJ who ever had at the Crystal Room. He was, yeah, yeah, that is true. Again, for those of you who don't know me and uh. me in a previous life uh, before Flipping <laughs> Burgers, we used to run uh, yeah, when club you get nights. It with a passion. Because yeah. we didn't make any money. Uh, no. There's no money to be made in music or festivals, as um, as these guys have probably done it. And uh, no. me, I just me bought a Jag, though. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Should the tax man be watching yeah. this? <laughs> cut that.
Um, so, but it's become known as well as the band stuff as a bit sort of like it's really good for its dance music lineup, isn't it? Yeah, sort yeah, of, um, yeah. So, who's your favourite sort of DJ that you've had at uh, stuff? I suppose you'd have to go down as Andy C, really. The Executioner. Yeah. He headlined at Drum and Bass stage four years in a row. Kind of came the first time, loved it. Yeah. Wanted to come back, did it, did it on the cheap. And it was a real, for us, you know, he's the biggest Drum and Bass DJ in the world, isn't he? Just yeah. Really yeah, well, of course, yeah. And, uh, there's a bit of a, a, link, thing for us, a bit of a link with you on that as well because he was obviously then and he still is the biggest drum and bass DJ around. Yeah. And we were still very small and they only had a couple of you know, friction and a couple of small names and we were we were trying our hardest to get him and uh, emailed the agent loads of times and he was playing at the jailhouse. Yeah. When you were running that. Yeah. Club, yeah. And uh, he turned up and I had this. Uh, bit of a folder put together about Nolstock and why we wanted him to play to try yeah. and persuade him because it was proving difficult to get him and that you know we were the place to come and he started playing at your club and about 10 seconds into the first song the electric went off do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and it went off three times uh, do you remember? yeah so when he was fuming he was yeah, fuming yeah. Oh, and there was me stood outside with the uh, <laughs> this folder yeah, trying to persuade Andy C to come back to everything and he was fuming there was quite a few times so I you nearly Andy blew non-stop you nearly <laughs> yeah. finished non-stock off Murph there yeah, like that was one really of your better performances well, one of the you problems, should have checked the fuse one of the problems with the JLO was the whole place was falling apart it and was, uh, yeah. the, the decks used to skip and the power used to cut <laughs> <laughs> and so I think on three or four occasions I'd uh, fallen out with Andy C. But he kept yeah. coming back. Because you did? Because we were paying him. If you pay somebody, yeah, they'll, they'll yeah. generally come anyway, back. Anyway, he, he agreed to come and he just loved it. And as you know, he did four years in a row headlining. Yeah, it yeah, really he helped. He put on a real good show there as well. Yeah, he, he and, seemed yeah, to love it. And he, yeah. he wrote, I mean, he wrote some great articles. Well, you know, pieces of yeah, art. Yeah. He, he put it, there was one, wasn't this? He was asked what was his favourite festival in the UK and you put Nostock. I think it's probably because that for them, especially they used to go around the world playing these huge yeah. sort of events now, but Nostock's still got that sort it's of like... personal. It, yeah, it's that personal, mm. it's almost like a rave mm. vibe to him. Especially that stage. I can't yeah, remember when, he, when, he, yeah, when yeah, he, yeah. he arrived and we were trying to keep people away from him right in the early days and he, he arrived and I, I think he didn't know what to expect and he sort of turned up in this old yard with a bit of a broken down tractor and, <laughs> something like that. and it, he was a bit sort of... What yeah. have I signed up for? Yeah, yeah, and then he walked in and he had a look and he, goes, he went like that and he, and he yeah, absolutely yeah. went for it. Like He always said it was like it, it was like raves used to be. He put it down. Well, it is. I'm going to chuck the uh, steak butter on now no. to start that melting. So in here we've just got a bit of garlic, yeah. we've got some rosemary, we've got some thyme. So I'm just going to get that on and then you guys are going to be uh, getting these steaks on here. So yeah, yeah I mean, because the drum and bass arena there, it is an old cattle shed, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a cubicle house for cows, yeah. 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 And so, uh, for those of you who've never been to it, it's a real cool little sort of dark dingy. What you get about, what? 800, yeah, 500? Yeah, yeah. Something yeah. like that? Well, people according to watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people in there. You get a few people in there, yeah. But it's a great little stage. It's probably one of the most popular stages yeah, at the festival, that, isn't it? I played in there the one. You have, yeah. That's, that's the, my favourite set ever, really? ever, ever, ever played. Really? Yeah, yeah. What were you playing? What genre? Um, just like old school rave, right. like jungle. Um, yeah, and it was. It just started raining, so everybody came in there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, you it got was, lucky, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. It was the only people one normally yeah. bothered. So I never. I said, well, I the year after. It was two people. Did you, did, you, yeah. did you ever play in Murph? Yeah, I've emceed. Uh, I emceed for that set, yeah, I think, and one, yeah. uh, I've emceed for a few guys in there. Um, we used to just wander around and try and, try and get on the mic in there. They used to let me because I had a backstage yeah. pass. Yeah. So no, you, you, you wouldn't get one these days, though. No, so no, we tightened it up a lot. We wouldn't no. let you back then. No, eh? no, they'd be like, who's this old, uh, old git? <laughs> Go back to flipping burgers, old man. Uh, yeah. Right, so I'm going to get you guys to chuck these uh, steaks on. So you can do, you can do one each. Um, so yeah, if you've got the great thing about a tomahawk is it gives you sort of like a little so handle to there to, uh, yeah. to cook. So Noz, if you want to grab uh, this one as well, mate. So you can see over here, what I've done is I've set it up so you've got basically two, two sections. So we've got, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, and that's a great way to cook steaks is to sear them off really hot first and then move them over to a, a sort of colder bit. So this is a mixture of silver birch and uh, oak that we've got on here, which is from John at Birchwood. Is that uh, the design then, the You pick that wood yeah. for that, that purpose then? Yeah, yeah, well, you get a really good flavour though. You can get a real nice sort of uh, temperature with silver birch as well. So I like to mix the two and you get a good bit good bit of heat, good bit of sort of flavour and that. Um, so what I've done is I've oiled it up. This is a good little tip. Like, yeah, I was going to ask about Yeah, just whack a bit of an onion on a, on a thing and it's just a great way of like sort of um yeah greasing your, your grill grates up. Then what I'm gonna do is chuck them on and uh, get them on there 
That's on the heart bit. Yeah, yeah. Everything on the bone off the bit so you can grab it. Or yeah, yeah, I tend to. Yeah, yeah. Then it gives you something to to hold on to that that handle because it, it can get hot. You kind of want to leave it there for a few seconds and give it a bit of a twist around and then yeah, just just sort of keep it keep it keep moving. It moving. So every few seconds, sort of move it about. So, um, what sort of the craziest rider you guys have had uh, from anybody? Has anybody been like? Really, man. Had a uh, he wanted a framed picture of, of the word was it? <laughs> so the, the guys had a Jurassic 5 playing at uh, playing at the festival and um, we've done a little thing uh, with you guys for the last few years where we create a burger based around an artist. So we, one of the artists that plays in Northstock will give us some sort of ingredients that they want in a burger and then we'll put it together. Yeah, Raffa's delighted. That was it. So what's it like working with your old man? It's a nightmare. I can, it's I can imagine. Yeah, like a tight old farmer. Who said he was? <laughs> who said he was mine? <laughs> so yeah, when when you guys had Jurassic Five down, so they designed the burger. But um, mm. they also uh, came to the restaurant and had some food there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then um, that cost us a fortune. Yeah, yeah. Fucking paper. My my missus gave him a um, gave him all a t-shirt, and then it was Merv the stag dude. It was, yeah. And they came out on the stage to to play, oh, yeah, and yeah, they yeah. were all wearing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, fuck. Yeah, it was yeah. yeah. It was I reckon it's our, that's probably my favourite gig we've had there. I've always loved Jurassic Park. It was, yeah, and they, they, were, they just smashed it. Because Jay Five MC, we're here to rock. Oh, like guys can never be straight. We got the roll of us, even though it's six, we guaranteed the sun's equal. We're bringing you good. They were brilliant. Yeah, they really were. They were a great uh, live act. Yeah. And uh, so the burger that they came up with is uh, you can get it at a restaurant. It's called uh, the Jurassic Classic Noz Boy. Uh, probably the biggest name we've got of any burger. And it's got a fried egg in it, spinach, honey mustard, mayo, and ketchup. And it's my favourite, actually. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah, it's yeah. the egg. Yeah. An egg yeah. I, I'd love to try it. I've never been able to afford it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very reasonably priced <laughs> I, mean, I don't believe a word of it. Yeah. So we're getting yeah. a nice crust on yeah, there. It's beautiful. Nice bit of sort of char. So we'll give it a little bit more, and then what we're going to do is chuck it over into sort of the cooler part on here as well. So we've got a bit of, uh, Rob, if you want to get a bit of that uh, steak bar and use that uh, sort of time thing just to give it a little sort of bit of a sort of brush on top. Yeah, that's it. So in there, we've just got the yeah, rosemary, garlic, a bit of thyme. You also did the uh, Sugar Hill Gang burger, didn't you? Yeah, so yeah, and that's a really nice. And both of these burgers, we originally when they got put on the menu, we intended to keep them on for like just just a month or something while the yeah. festival was on. But both of them were so popular that we uh, decided to keep it so on. So the profit on them has been immense. Yeah. We, well, don't, uh, we, I mean, we, don't get, we don't see any of that, do we? Well, you're going to get two steaks today, aren't you? So uh, <laughs> you, you'll get a bill. So, right, we're going to take these steaks, now we've got a nice sort of bit of crust. You can sort of see that on there. A nice sort of bit of char on them. And we're going to chuck them into sort of the cooler part of the grill now to finish them off uh, sort of slow. So it's always great to cook a steak that way. About how long do they take, Murph, on the slower? Well, um, they're quite thick, aren't they? They are quite thick. It's kind of very long as a piece of string with it. Basically, for a good sort of medium rare, you're looking sort of anywhere between sort of 52 to sort of like 55C. With tomahawks and, and ribeyes and that, you are sort of better off going a little bit high on it because they are, they've got quite a bit of fat in them. So what's your favorite non-stop moment then? The anomalies. <laughs> yeah. Um, to me, because I like that kind of music, when I, when Andy C first walked in there, mm. like I said earlier that that's probably that moment. M that moment. But equally, I don't get to meet or bother to meet many of the uh, main stage headliners. But the one I did meet, I would have to pick it out, was Martha Reeves from Martha mm. Reeves and the Landellas. Mm. Uh, she was she was 82. She yeah, she, yeah, she was when she played, you know, dancing in the street and all that. And yeah. uh, I, I knocked on the door and asked if I could just say hello. And she said, "I'll oh, come on in and sit down." And we had a good chat. That's cool. And and uh, I walked her to the stage, and she was absolutely, absolutely lovely. She was. So that those would be my favourite. Did you guys have had some artists uh, for real cheap? Like who went on, the, on their way up, who've gone on to be? Mm. Yeah, Jake Bugs. How much was he? 50 uh, quid or something? 100 quid. Yeah. 100 quid. Did you guys have George Ezra as well? Mm. Like, you know, we did, but he, he missed the train. He missed the train. <laughs> so he had two cinema club, they were. Yep. Net nothing at yeah. the time, weren't they? He did miss the train and, and rang and wouldn't have yeah. got there in time for his gig. Oh, got it. Jake Gutbug did a gig almost exactly a year after ours, and I yeah. hear that he was 100 grand. Blooming hell. Wow, it's incredible how these people grow up in there. I mean, we had uh, Rag and Bone Man 
Oh, yeah, the yeah, journalist yeah. for 50 quid. We had yeah. Chase and Stasis for 30 quid. <laughs> for petrol money, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Rag and Bowman would be. Oh yeah, it'd be now, yeah. silly money, wouldn't it? Yeah, we tried to book him a couple of times, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, it's massive money. Right. So next thing we're going to make now is uh, Caesar uh, salad dressing. So I need one of you guys to uh, chop that uh, that chop bit it. of garlic up for me. It's just like the festival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, okay, you'll take all the glory though. Yeah. So I'll give you a good tip in, so you don't chop your chop your uh, things right. off. Okay, cooking's uh, not my forte, bro. So you get, if you could use your fingers like that, look, and then yeah. you can guide it down. Do you know what I mean? You won't uh, risk. If you use your knuckles, look, as a bit of a guide, yeah, you're then you won't chop the end of you. So another good tip with this is because we want to get it into a bit of a, a bit of a, a puree. Uh, is that a good? Is that good enough? That was for, uh, yeah, that, no, that's no. That's <laughs> a no. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a bit of uh, rock salt on top of here now. And I, I might jump in and give you a hand here because yeah, we've yeah. only got so much film in the camera. Uh, right, okay. So, yeah, right, okay. Right, so we put some garlic in there, and then the next thing's uh, anchovies. Do you have any much anchovies? Yeah. They always go really good with uh, sort of beef and that. Oh, I'm only one of you who's, who's, who's strong. Oh, yeah. Go on. So, so masculine. <laughs> <laughs> so I loosened it. <laughs> right, uh, and the one of the great things about the festival as well is how much you guys have expanded it from year to year. And like, uh, so we went this year with, with my wife and uh, my daughter, and uh, yeah, there was it the elephant graveyard stage. Yeah, it's a new, uh, that's amazing. Oh, it's so that. cool. Yeah, that's like yeah. one of my favourite areas. Yeah, now, everyone says it? that. Yeah, it's nice that we've added something new that it's gone down well. Generally, you know, it's yeah. like because you never know. Again, it's the same thing. I've put mm. a lot of work and effort into it, and yeah, like programming and reggae in mm. house, reggae yeah, in yeah. the daytime and house at night. We felt like you they were two genres well. that. Um, you, know, you did so well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are two genres that we um, kind of felt were lacking slightly, or that there was a good, yeah. our crowd wanted more of. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's gone down really well. That's good. That was, that was, that was really good. Um, yeah, cause it's, what, so what's your guys' favourite stage? Have you got like one, or is it sort of. Good if you have to pick one. I like, yeah, I mean, I, I think we've got so many different genres, haven't we? We try and be like a mini Glastonbury in a way. You know, yeah. we've always felt like. There's a lot of fun about that. You know, they might do hip hop and ska and, yeah. and drum and bass, but it's quite a broad cross section. Yeah, we yeah. try and we try and have a little bit of everything. So I guess my, this is my favourite stage changes throughout the day. Mm. You know, there's the bandstand. There's a lot of like coming artists. Yeah. In the daytime, that's really cool. We're going to chill out over there for a few hours in the sun. You know. And then in the middle of the night, they obviously the cubicles with the drum and bass acts. Is, yeah. Is, Garden stage yeah, is always good around by between nine and twelve. Yeah. Yeah. When I mean, the sun goes down, they yeah, say yeah, that yeah, stage yeah. gets sort of amazing, yeah. doesn't it? Really does. Yeah, we had Mark <coughs> a couple of years ago, and he was he commented it was his favourite gig of the year. Yeah. yeah. To do that Sunday night headline show on the garden stage. Yeah. So in here, uh, don't we've got uh, anchovy, bit of garlic, and uh, and an egg yolk. So uh, I'm gonna need one of you guys to grab the whisk. There's gonna be a couple more things we're gonna add. So I'm gonna chuck into this a little bit of. Um, <coughs> Uh, the best thing to come out of Worcester, uh, which is this. Yes, I quite agree. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in there. And yeah, and you can yeah, start start whisking that up. Now, no, so what I'm going to need you to do, mate, is if you come around here, you're going to have to start adding this uh, oil, like really sort of slowly, okay. while sort of no, uh, while sort of Robert whisks it up there. Okay. Good wrist action there. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I've got powerful wrists. Lots of lots of practice. So no, we've the day to day sort of like, what sort of roles do you guys take on like when the festival's sort of on? Who, who kind of does sort of sort of what? Um, I do the cooking. <laughs> How much of this do you want in, Mo? Yeah, keep going, know. keep whisking. Yeah, we're looking for it. Should go sort of nice and nice and creamy. Uh, yeah, we've all got different roles in in, in right through the winter in the build up. Yeah. And uh, over the weekend, really, Rob runs the arenas, the new. I don't know what that means quite, but yeah, the, the, it's quite, yeah. everyone's role, role's quite vague and I quite, do, uh, it's a small festival, isn't it? everyone, everyone does a little bit of everything. Everyone's got to do everything, you know? yeah. I do the car parks and the toilets. And I guess and the campsites. He loves the car parks. It's your favourite bit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I do. You're honest. I'm at the car park most of the weekend. Oh yeah? Yeah. Dog in. <laughs> 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 so you see, as you're adding that oil with the egg yolk and that, it's all sort of emulsifying and that. So yeah, you can't even afford an electric whisk. Hey, I can't do. I just like to see you do some. It was tiring. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think uh, if things, if we get called off with coronavirus, do you think I can get a job in the? Uh, Beefy boys. Based on today, as, I'd as, say no. Man, your dicing was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> as, as a cook. 
I think we'll probably get you on pot wash. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that'll be alright. So outside of uh, Nordstock, I get, do you guys get to go to many other festivals, or are you just sick of it? I try to. I went to, uh, been to Boomtown for the last few years. Boomtown's great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah, it's the production wild, of that festival's um, it's, it's awesome. A, it's incredible. Yeah, it's like a high water mark, isn't it? And do you like sort of get a few ideas from that when you go? Yeah, yeah, we steal as many ideas as we can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we do. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to another festival for quite a few years. We used to always go to Glastonbury as a family. Yeah. Oh, did you? What, before, yeah. before Nonstop was a thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, really brilliant. I think, yeah. I think it's kind of where what Nonstop is came from, isn't it? Yeah, so it really. We'd go, we'd go as a family, all camp together. And my sister and mum would go off, you know, and they'd go to the theatre tent or the yeah, folk, yeah. folk tent. I'd, uh, I'd go and watch the indie bands and that. Dad would be off his head raving all weekend. In the <laughs> <Yeah. of that. laughs> but it's, now you say that, I mean, because I've only ever been to Glastonbury once, but that is one of the things very similar between you and Glastonbury is the fact that it's not just music. There's like the theatre, there's the art, yeah, yeah, there's the cinema. To. I, think, I think you've got to. Um, yeah. No, it isn't you. There's so Ooh, much... Keep whiskey. Oh, fucking knackered, man. A tiny little bit more and then we'll go with the <laughs> lemon juice in there. Pour it in, man. I don't know what to put. <laughs> So I've only ever been to Glastonbury once. I think it was 19. It was the, it was last year before they actually built a proper fence. Oh uh, yeah, I 2000. Did that, yeah. The year, Wild. It was it? crazy. 2000. Wild. It was like the year 2000. Yeah. When uh, left field headlined the other stage on the Saturday night. Yeah, it was Bowie uh, was playing. Bowie I think. was playing. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And that was mad because we went down. Yeah, it was. Like, uh, we literally um, got a taxi from Hereford down to there. Got there. And uh, we were trying to find a way in, like through the uh, through the fence. This bloke was like, "Oh, pay, pay me five quid, mate, and I'll show you show you a way in." So I gave me five pound. He went, "Oh, over there," and he pointed. And, 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 <laughs> and the fence was literally just down, and people were just walking in and out. So we walked, and I think that was the year that there was two hundred and fifty thousand yeah, people yeah, there, yeah. and it's supposed to be no, twenty-five. There were people well, sleep on the roads. Was that, yeah, I heard rumours there was, was over three hundred thousand there. It could good sources. Very, yeah. very busy. Well, it's what they're answering the, the phone. Yeah, and it was a very, very busy year that, and it was literally. You'd have yeah. like a burger van, and there'd be people around to camp, literally yeah, in front know, of the yeah. burger van. It was madness. Used to go to I used to go to a uh, global gathering, <laughs> yeah. homelands, <laughs> creamfields. Party boy, <laughs> yeah, do them all. Yeah. Right, so we've got a bit of lemon juice going in there. Oh, Lee, could you grab the parmesan, mate? There should be some parmesan over there as well. That's some good whiskey. That is very, Thank you. that is Thank very thick. You. Might actually need to thin that out a little bit. Like more oil. Yeah, a bit more oil. Right, so we're gonna add a little bit of parmesan to this uh, as well. There'll be more parmesan sort of going in the in the salad. Right, right. Just gonna taste a little bit of that. Yeah, it's about the time you kind of you came as a beefy voice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a long term connection between yeah, yeah. you lot and the festival, so it's yeah, but yeah. We've asked you a couple of times, but you've, you've, kind of, you've, you've been a bit big for us, haven't you? you know, <laughs> what goes up must come down. So well, like, we've always been like, we'd rather, we'd rather go than actually work it. Yeah, so yeah. Kind of been, uh, you had your stag you there, didn't you, man? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I can remember of that it. Was I had a great time. Yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah. I came up to see you on the Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock, so I'd been, and you, you just left. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never I, actually saw you on your Sunday weekend. I, also, I've so never, stupid. I've been to Northstock, God knows how many times, but I've never made it to the Sunday night. I'm, um, I'm a horrendous lightweight. Right, okay, so next thing what I need you guys to do is, uh, because we've got some romaine uh, lettuce here, so you guys can just rip that Remain? Up. Remain, yeah. I was leave. Oh, oh. We, don't, we don't want to get into that. Uh, yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just get in there, rip, rip up a few of those. Uh, you can keep it in this one, so yeah. you just rip yeah. it up, chuck it, yeah. chuck it in. Um, then you can leave a couple of them quite sort of big and sort of chunky as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nice patterns, man. Well, yeah, that is, lo that is lovely. You're going, I'm going for a Michelin star here. So I'm just going to take these out once. No, I'm going to put them back in. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Just don't just wasn't up to well, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. He does this to me all the time. So, so uh, no, it's good. It's good. Right. So we're going to put some of this uh, Caesar salad dressing in in there now. Um, did you guys want to try a little bit actually? Before, um, do you want to try anything? Give it a go. Dip that in. Try it. Out. It's horrible. What's <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, people usually buy Caesar in a, in a, in a bottle and that, but it's so easy it's to really make. Good. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's real good. It always goes well with um, smoky, almost. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's been some of the smoked salt and that that we've uh, that we've got in there as well. So right, we're going to chuck a little bit of this in to to here, and then you can use these. Uh, might need a little bit more. Yeah, but you can use these two spoons to sort of like dress that if you want one. Yep. No, I mean, the, the Beefy Boys is a total accident, really. Again, like for those who don't like non stock, really. Yeah. 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 yeah, like as a barbecue, really. We've always said like the Beefy Boys is generally uh, it's a it's a drunken barbecue that's really got out of hand. Um, just taking these steaks off now, Don, if you want to get a look at that. So, yeah, it started off at Dan, who's, who's not here today. Um, 
he gave me a call uh, one day and said, uh, I know you like eating and um, I'm having a barbecue. Do you want to help me help me cook for it? Oh, no, you chuck those ones into, into there, don't we? I tell you, I'll write that on top now. Um, in a nice pattern. I oh, know, in, into, not, not quite, but just like into, okay. into the air. Uh, yeah, and he said, um, do, do, you, do you want to give me a hand uh, cooking for it? And uh, I said, yeah. I said, but if we're going to do it, let's not do like a boring sort of British barbecue. Let's, you know, do a real good sort of American one with like, you know, burgers and all that. So we, we jumped online, we watched loads of videos, bought loads of recipe books. And um, yeah, we kind of like uh, learned how to do it and then did it for our mates. And they were like, this is really, really good. And then uh, Christian, uh, who's our friend, um, he'd recently, he'd been working as a runner for the BBC and he'd just been to a festival called Grill Stock uh, the oh, yeah, year yeah, before. Yeah. And he said, you guys should enter this. So then myself, Lee, Dan and Christian, we all entered into, into Grill Stock, which is a barbecue competition. Um, we did that for a couple of years, didn't we? Sort of. Uh, We've been of doing laugh. small pop-ups between uh, in amongst that, haven't we? Yeah, we go. Yeah, we go into like uh, uh, Lee's like mum had a garage. Like a Texaco garage. And we, we, we'd set up a, a little really? broken yeah. barbecue, and we'd sell like ten burgers, make a fiver each, and we thought it was brilliant. And we were doing the JLS as we, well. Yeah, we do it at the club on like a Wednesday night, wouldn't we? Yeah. It, was just, it was just something we did for a laugh, really. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then eventually we um, we won uh, best burger <laughs> at Grill Stock, and then because we won that, we got entered into the World Food Championships in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, of course. Flew over there, came yeah. second, and then from that point it just all went sort of then mad. You, yeah, really. you've been over two or three times, haven't you? You went to uh, five, five times Have you been now? five? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where else and, you been? Uh, uh, so we've been to, uh, first time we went to Vegas, uh, which was amazing. Uh, second time was Orlando, yeah. uh, which yeah. was cool. Uh, then uh, Alabama, uh, we've been to have, twice. Uh, you must have liked Alabama, I would have thought. I tell you what, we were a bit worried about really. Alabama being quite sort of redneck and a bit, but it was lovely, wasn't it? The yeah, you were down on the really, coast, really weren't really you? Nice. We were down in yeah, Orange, it's a bit Orange different Beach. Down there, isn't it? Yeah. And the second time we went to Alabama, we actually got to go to New Orleans. That yeah. was great. New Orleans is like, that's my favourite place in America. Yeah. It's, uh, I yeah. haven't been there yet. Uh, you got to go. It's cool. like the music, the food, everything is brilliant. Mm. And then the last one we went to was in Texas. And so yeah. we got to go to Dallas and uh, Austin, and they were both amazing, yeah. weren't they? They were yeah. really good. Um, right, so just to finish off these last sort of bits, so Nod, uh, if you can grab, see that, that pot there, right? And you, so that's some, some Parmesan. We'll chuck yeah. a little bit of extra Parmesan on top of the yeah. uh, sort of Caesar salad. Take this uh, off, yeah. There, yeah, and if you take the um, clean from off, and this is, um, we've got bacon bits here. All so with that, we, uh, we we deep fry some, some local uh, streaky bacon, and then we, we once it's dried, we blitz yeah, we it We've got bacon fries at the, at the restaurant now. Bang. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, well, this is what we use to yeah. top them. So we're so going to just, just do a good sprinkle of that over the top of the sort of Caesar salad. There you go. So nice rustic presentation. That's what we like to say. Cool. So there we got our two steaks and our uh, and our Caesar salad. Do you guys want to cut it up, actually? Uh, no, we'll leave it to the well, expert. Yeah. We'll let you do it. <laughs> you, Lee, you should cut it up. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like a silent partner. I'm happy to watch. So I'll cut these up and see what you guys reckon. You guys want to know on that at all? It's always, it's always quite nice. You always get a couple of really good bits by the uh, by the bone. I'll give you uh, I'll give you one as well, Rob, so you can have a mm. good one too. The one thing I'm I'd love to know the answer to. Mm -hmm. Will we ever see a return at no stock of the anomalies? <laughs> well it's funny enough, we were talking about maybe like doing anomalies uh, thingy the other day, weren't we? Uh, yeah, yeah, and well, actually, funny enough, because um, I had Sam, who's one of our band members from the Anomalies, came around for my birthday, and then we were talking about getting together to to write some music. I think, um, I think, yeah, never, I, never say never. I think we probably would do it one day. Do. It's finding, it's finding the time, really. Put that down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whack it down there. So I'm just gonna whack a bit of extra uh, salt, sort of on mm. top. Uh, yeah, we'd love to do it, but it's like, you know, you have to put sort of two, at least two weeks aside. Two weeks of rehearsal. To rehearse, yes, to get the band tight, you know, yeah. to, to, to do it. But um, I think we did it, when was it, about four years ago, I think, was the last time we oh, did it? Four, four or five years that. ago, oh, yeah. yeah. It's more than that. Before, yeah, but that, yeah, but that was great. I remember it's Sam set it. off uh, a glitter cannon on stage <laughs> and got glitter. I'm still... Yeah, no, somebody handed him a fucking a, a tub of glitter. Oh, that's right. And he launched that's it and it exploded right. over the crowd and just covered all the All the equipment. Everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, grab some like even more music equipment that I've got now, five years later, I'm still mm. pulling glitter yes, out of it at the moment. We're still pulling it over the lawn. <laughs> yeah. I've got so um, so jump in. So here's our uh, here's our steaks. There's our tomahawk uh, steak and our. Uh, and our Caesar salad, and you can also dip a bit of the steak into the uh, Caesar salad dressing if you want as well. Some nice sort of uh, good p pieces in there if you want to grab it, help yourself. Jump in, Rob, mate, grab whichever bit you want. 
It's amazing. Mm. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. It's beef and tender as well, isn't it? Mm. Mm. It's one of the great things about cooking it like that. Searing it off and then finishing it off really low. You're almost like guaranteed a sort of tender steak, really, because you know, it's outstanding. outstanding. Mm. Yeah, it really is. Mm. Wicked. Well, thanks very much, guys. Mm. So, that's our uh, tomahawk steak and uh, Caesar salad. And uh, thank you to uh, Rob and Nos from Nostock. And once again, when's uh, the festival on? What day is it? 23rd of July. 23rd, oh, 23rd to 26th of July. Yeah, so get your tickets online and uh, you can follow and Nostock and that on Facebook and stuff and uh, the Beefy Boys as well. And have a Beefy Boys while you're there. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, yeah. good music and good food. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Nice one, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cool. Thanks, Ooh. guys. Ooh. It's fucking Sorry. horrible, that's <laughs> 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 <No. laughs>